When you form compounds from elements, there'll be an enthalpy associated with that. So let's start with the elements in their standard states and form compounds. What are the standard states of the elements? Well, that's how you would find an element at one atmosphere of pressure and 25 degrees C. So some elements from the periodic table will be a solid, some will be liquids, some will be gases. Some will be diatomic. For instance, the standard state of hydrogen is H2 gas, not hydrogen atoms, because H2 gas is what's commonly found at standard conditions of one atmosphere pressure and 25 degrees C. Just like O2 gas, oxygen gas, or nitrogen gas, those are diatomic. So when I form compounds from these elements in their standard states, there could be a net increase in enthalpy. That is, the compounds could be higher on enthalpy hill than the elements in their standard states. What about compounds in their standard states that are lower in energy than the elements? That occurs if the standard enthalpy of formation forming the elements, forming the compounds from the elements, is an exothermic process, releases some energy. Those are lower on enthalpy hill. Overall, those compounds are a little more likely to be found because they're lower in energy than the elements. So we have standard enthalpies of formation are the formation of compounds from their elements in their standard states.